Your Excellency. Museveni, President of Republic of Uganda, the First Lady, Second Deputy Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, the members, the ministers, members of Parliament, the brief the members of family, the brief the family, the all mourners. I, I I think that there is no time. At the same time, everybody, uh, who, whoever has come and spoke here has uh, really said everything. I just wanted to, I wanted to say two things before I invite you, the President. One is, the late Abriga asked me, as he is the former chairman of UNRF, what about our package? I said uh, the latest I heard from the State House through this PPS is the, a letter referring our case to the Minister of State of Defense and Veteran Affairs. And it is from there that we shall follow up uh, this issue. This information I gave him, and uh, he said he, he hoped he would. Uh, he will, he, will, he, will, he will be alive to wait until that uh, issue is solved. I didn't know why he said that. Secondly, I wanted, the, with the, <coughs> your permission, Excellency, to just summarize what I said in the mosque when I represented the government in praying for Abriga and the, the brother. And uh, I said the, when people are saying the government is responsible for the security of the citizens. It is true. All government, not only government of Uganda, all government of the, in the country, in the world. But also it is true, before one asks, who is the government? Who is the government of Uganda, for example? So the government of Uganda is actually of all the citizens of Uganda because they are the same people who decided to be governed through, uh, democratic, through democratic, democratic system. And that democratic system is, implies that uh, the citizens are involved in electing their, their, their people who will govern them. Now, in our case here, all Ugandans in Uganda had elected His Excellency the President to be the President of the people of Uganda. Therefore, the government is the, of the people of Uganda, all over, wherever they are, because they are the ones who, invite, who uh, elected the President. So whatever he is doing is in trust for the people of the Uganda. Now, if you say it is a, it is one of the responsibility of the government is to pro protect the people of Uganda. It's true, but if he does so, he must also, that government of Uganda must also be doing so with the help of the people who has put him in power. And that people, because they are, everybody who voted for him, they are all over Uganda. Whatever is happening in Uganda, even now we are here in the Rencam, people of Uganda have been represented here and they know what is happening here, so and else, ev everywhere. So these people who killed Abriga, at that particular time, definitely, there must be two, three, or five, I, whatever number of people must be around, must even be seeing these things happening. So this, these people are seeing on behalf of the government because they contributed to forming the government. So they should do, therefore, be willing to help the government to provide the security they are talking about. Now, if the public cannot cooperate with the government to track down these wrongful people, it will be difficult for government to, 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 to provide the security people are asking for. Because the government is, is, 
is not everywhere like the people who is everywhere. So this is my contribution in the mosque that uh, I think the public should help the government to find out who have killed these people and many other people before that uh, has, has, has committed that crime. Therefore, Your Excellency, uh, this is the strong my belief, but that doesn't mean that the government is not going to follow up. The government will follow up what is happening and these people will be found out. Indeed, I also want to welcome you here and uh, thank people of uh, when they come for the sh good show they have shown and for a big number they have turned to come and mourn our brothers and for your coming personally to and Madame to witness the send-off of uh, our later brigade. Much as it has happened, we believe God will give them a good place, as, as, as we believe. Therefore, Excellency, I don't have much to add. I want to take this opportunity to invite you and address the mourners. Thank you.